River Rats, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Today is the maiden voyage of this thing. This probably looks all the norm, except that bag. This machine on the back, that is a three horsepower electric motor mounted on a kayak. And we're gonna see what it'll do. So, all right, let's roll. Today's as much about like testing this thing out and see what I can do with it and see what my limitations are as it is actually catching fish. But I'm out here, so I brought some poles, brought some bait and all that stuff. We're gonna try and catch some white bass or something. But mostly I wanna see what this thing can do. Like I said, I'm kinda anxious about it. If you're, if you're wondering what it is, it's a Torquedo 1103 Travel, which, which the main reason I went with this over a trolling motor is it's like the equivalent of a 70 or 80 pound thrust trolling motor, but weighs the same as just a trolling motor. No batteries. It's got a lithium ion battery and it's a beast. Kill switch is gonna be important. Three horsepower, a little plastic boat. I have to get an extension for my kill switch cord. It's magnetic, it just pops right off if you fall out. So this is gonna be clipped to my belt for now. All right, let's see how it goes. Just um, we'll pull this guy up and fish off the bank. Maybe. All right, time to get fishing. That thing has the potential to be a lot of fun. River rats, I decided I'm gonna fish off the bank. Mainly just because, you know, it's a comfort thing. Being able to stand, walk around, all that stuff for a float all day. I'll even take breaks every once in a while. Plus I need to uh, cast net some more shiners real quick. One of my favorite baits this time of year, especially. I mean, they're good all times of year. Honestly, throwing these things, you never know what you'll catch. I don't really target flatheads for a long time yet. You know, two to four weeks, depending on what the weather does. but. You might get lucky and hook into a big boy throwing little baits like this. Did I get any? Yep. So those are my little shiner dudes. Not a ton of them, but this net works better in shallow water because it sinks slow. So if you can get it, get them in shallow water, usually you catch more in each throw. We have shallow water, I just don't see any in it. Oh, that one's about getting a get away. Not your day, bud. Not a lot. Any more in there? i make one more throw, because I don't need a ton. But I would like a few more. 
Wasn't even going to make a throw, and then I saw him jump. The telltale shiner jump. And the bigger one's set up on these little brakes. Which I hope is the case here. Nope. Reached my shiner limit. I'm not going to throw the net anymore because I don't want to spook any more fish than I already have. Time to get a bait out there. Wondering if there's going to be any white bass here. There's something pecking on my one on the bottom. So there's something living here. Hmm. Whatever it was, was not big enough to get a shiner down its mouth. Which is kind of sad for him. To be that little of a weenie. Back in the saddle. Might be getting hit already. I feel like he's getting more serious. Well, I got whatever it is. It's all over the place. Looks like it had a big mouth. Looks like my buddy, White Bass. It's been a little while, my friend. So you are here. That's comforting. Throw him back and probably throw the jig around a little bit. Bye. Because that's fun, don't get me wrong. But it's really fun to feel him hit a jig. Well, I found one. Kind of feels like a hybrid as angry as it is. No. Nope. Maybe. Fought really, really good. Hit it really, really good. Nope. Just nice white bass. Nice one, though. Yeah, he plucked it. <laughs> he was hungry. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get a picture. Okay, bye. That would be fun to do again. Oh, he's hard on my minner. About to turn my one piece minnow into two piece minnow. <laughs> Alright, we'll give him a few more casts. Same spot, might be the same one. Man, the warmer it gets, the angrier they get. And the more I like them. Definitely not going to be able to get away with that same shiner this go round. Yeah, I hit right there. Not quite as tenacious as his last friend, but pretty worked up. You can, you can have it. I'll just give it to you. See if he throws it up or not. And see it float back out. Yeah. Knowing them things, I bet he kept it. Might move down the bank. Now what I'd really like is a hybrid. There's that nice revolving pool down the bank. Ooh, that's the right drift. That drift has been smoked twice. And I just bumped into something. Or a nibble. Third time was not a charm. But to be fair, the first and second were... To be fair. Alright, we're going to slide down the bank a little ways. Definitely not staying out super late tonight. Probably just fish that spot and call her good. be super sweet if I just knocked him dead though. Okay. Life jacket. Chick. Feet are nice and muddy. So that's good. And away we go. Why are we not moving? For some reason, I'm not moving. Not the end of the world, because we're going down river. But it could be really annoying this time to go back up river. 
we will tie off right about here, I think. Oh, I figured out what it was. I didn't turn it on. That, that'll slow you down. <laughs> we have my shiners, aka key to success. I'm gonna have to extend this kill switch. That's not that big of a deal. Hopefully that will secure my vessel. Okay, fine, I'll fish one more spot because this is kind of garbage. I'm gonna go to that real strong current break down there. Oh, good, got me a snag. Uh, 10 pound nano feels pretty tough. I got it all back. What's my hook look like? Weird. Probably caught on some old fishing line or something. And the nano fill won. Atta boy. Alright, I'm gonna head down there and I'm going to turn the motor on this time. Hopefully it runs better when it's on. I'm gonna go out on a limb and bet it does. Alright, definite last spot. It did work better with the power on, in case anybody was wondering. Spot looks very wipery. Hopefully my spidey senses are correct. Also looks very walleye. -y. Just fishy. It's deep. Still haven't touched bottom. There it just did. Hopefully this rod gets kerplunked. So I like it when that happens a lot. He smoked it. Oh, not what I was expecting, but I will take you. That's dinner is what that is. <laughs> Smoke that shiner. Come this direction. Oh, that's a dandy walleye. <laughs> I bet you would have been a hoss about a month ago. You're going to be delicious now, though. That's about the only thing I can promise. The power of live bait prevails. Well, it's kind of live bait. It was recently alive, and then it was dead, and I put it on jig head. And this is what we have. So I can't complain about that. Like, you know, 20-inch walleye. Going to be scrump diddly umptious, <laughs> to say the least. And it appears I don't have a stringer. Don't worry, we have a makeshift stringer. I brought my shiner net, and the shiner net is now a walleye stringer. You're gonna be quite wonderful. Be nice to get another couple Walters like that. <laughs> my rod was folded over. I have no idea what this is. Probably catfish. Yeah. When they fold it over, but you don't feel a lot of weight, usually catfish. Or when they fold it over and don't make a run, usually catfish. Wipers fold it over and it just goes. Zzzz. Oh yeah? Alright, fine, I'll let you go. I'll throw another shiner out there, I guess. Getting a little nippy. Sweatshirt time. Number one tip from my grandpa, always bring one more layer than you think you need. Pretty solid tip, honestly. Thanks, grandpa. I'm going to make a few more casts and it's probably time to roll. Don't want to be motoring up river in the darkness the first time I have this thing. One more walleye sure would make my evening though. Just one more. I'm not asking much. Maybe I am. I don't know. The spider 
around my face. Got him. Literally as soon as I turned the camera off, Luku came to show himself. Mr. Smallmouth. <laughs> right there. He was six inches off the bank. But I laughed, but that's what smallmouth do, so I shouldn't even be kind of surprised. I'll probably make a few more casts, but it's pretty much official. That's it for me today because I don't want to be motoring upriver in the dark the first time I've had this thing out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant.